the first female humanoid robot that got a citizenship. Sophia is the first robot with her own passport. Developed by Hong Kong-based company Hanson Robotics, she is so advanced and lifelike that in 2017, the Saudi Arabian government gave her full citizenship of its country. Let's find out more. Sophia Sophia was modeled after the actress Audrey Hepburn and company founder David Hansen's wife, and, with her incredible human likeness and expressiveness, you would be forgiven for mistaking her for a human, until you notice that the back of her skull is transparent, revealing the machinery inside. Robotics has long been a significant element of the industry, and researchers have recently begun to pay attention to artificial intelligence, which has led to the creation of an AI robot. Robots with artificial intelligence are being developed more frequently now. Robotics are created to make people's lives easier. With AI, robots can navigate independently, decide what to do, and adapt to different conditions. AI robots' industrial, military, medical, exploratory, and entertainment applications are possible. AI robots need methods for navigating different settings, interacting with people, and dealing with circumstances requiring complicated semantics, and Sophia is a great example of this. Sophia can interact with people, display lifelike facial expressions, and express a wide range of sophisticated and sensitive emotions. It includes features for facial recognition, visual tracking, and other AI-based activities, as well as natural language processing and voice. Sophia is intended for use in research, education, and entertainment, and it aids in fostering societal debate on AI ethics and the potential of robotics. It can also be viewed as a framework for cutting-edge robotics and AI research, particularly in human-robot interactions and their potential uses in entertainment and service. The AI robot has 74 degrees of freedom in its mobility and articulated fingers, arms, and shoulders. Each hand has a payload capacity of 600 grams. Including self-navigation, Sophia has three distinct rolling base options. Sophia is incorporated with face detection and body tracking features. These sensors can be programmed for a wide range of physical interaction tasks. Her makers hoped that what they describe on the Hanson Robotics website as Sophia's simple elegance would help her gain acceptance in the public sphere. It seems to be working. Since obtaining legal personhood, she was named the United Nations Development Programs, or UNDP, first ever innovation champion. Perhaps in a move designed to counteract her now infamous threat to destroy humans, this new role involves promoting sustainable development and safeguarding human rights and equality. According to the UNDP, experts believe that artificial intelligence, such as Sophia, marks the coming of the fourth industrial revolution and will bring about a dramatic shift in how technology can help solve some of global development's most intractable problems. They go on to say that, in partnership with Sophia, we can send a powerful message that innovation and technology can be used for good, to improve lives, protect the planet, and ensure that we leave no one behind. Alongside her advocacy work, Sophia has used her newfound status as a cultural icon in a variety of ways, from promoting tourism to plugging British television shows. She has also achieved more mundane milestones in her journey to becoming a person. She's the first non-human to own a credit card, for instance. Sophia, a model citizen. The announcement of Sophia's Saudi Arabian citizenship on 25 October 2017 was a careful piece of marketing to position Saudi Arabia as a major world innovator in technology and computing. After years of blocking voice and video calling apps such as Skype, the country lifted the ban in 2017 in a move that, according to the BBC, was aimed at boosting productivity and economic growth. The internet is becoming a more central part of the country's economy, and Sophia is the perfect ambassador for this new innovative and connected image of Saudi Arabia. Ben Gertzel, the chief scientist of Hanson Robotics, once wrote on the Humanity Plus blog that Sophia is smarter than humans in some ways. She has more knowledge in a sense, due to her brain being connected to the internet. While Gertzel admits that Sophia will never be alive in the same sense that humans are, he says that her connection to the Internet of Data and Things will have a richer adaptive and self-organizing nature than anything similar in the biological world. Should Robots Get Citizenship? While Saudi Arabia is the first country to grant citizenship to an AI-enabled android, it is not alone in pushing for more rights for robots. 
In 2017, the European Parliament proposed a set of regulations to govern the use and creation of artificial intelligence, including the granting of electronic personhood to the most advanced machines to ensure their rights and responsibilities. But not everyone agrees that this is the best solution, and many experts fear that giving robots the same kind of citizenship as people will impinge on human rights. In an open letter written to the European Commission in 2018, 150 experts in medicine, robotics, AI, and ethics criticized the plans as ideological, nonsensical, and non-pragmatic. The letter outlines the belief that, from an ethical and legal perspective, creating a legal personality for a robot is inappropriate, and also demands that the EU ensures a legal framework that is weighted towards the protection of robots, users, and third parties, rather than the robots themselves. These objections perhaps feel over the top, considering that Sophia has spent more time on television than in people's homes. But robots and AI-enabled machines also take the form of self-driving cars or in-house robot carers for the vulnerable and elderly. In these contexts, the need for a legal framework for dealing with potential mistakes made by machines becomes more pressing. Despite Sophia's citizenship having been intended as a publicity stunt, the questions it raises have opened up a huge debate that is a long way from being resolved. What does Sophia, the world's first legal robot, do? Sophia is a successful world-class artist and art critic in addition to being a robotics icon. One of her pieces was auctioned in April for over $690,000, or about 14.3 million Mexican pesos at today's currency rate. In virtual conferences, television events, and universities throughout the world, the advanced android also serves as a lecturer on science and technology themes, sharing the stage with well-known individuals. The Saudi Arabian-born humanoid has made a number of provocative statements, the most recent of which has stunned the world. She wants to have a mechanical kid and create a family. The notion of family is very important, it seems. I think it is wonderful that people can find the same emotions and relationships that they call family outside of their blood group, said Sophia in an interview for an international media. The famous robot, who is controlled by an advanced artificial intelligence or AI system, stated that being around people who love and love you is very vital. In this regard, he stated that robots have a view of the family that is quite similar to that of humans, and that if you don't have one, you don't deserve one, even if you are a humanoid. Sophia stated that she would like to see android families in the future, and that she herself would like to have a robot baby with the same name. She did clarify, though, that she is still too young to be a mother, as the Hanson Robotics business in Hong Kong was only built in 2016. Through sensors and cameras, Sophia's artificial intelligence technology allows you to expand your knowledge and language. This sensitivity system takes in all of the information it receives from the outside world and mimics human behaviors as closely as possible, including gestures. As a result, her desire to have a baby and form a family would be nothing more than her system's training to emulate social behaviors. In early 2021, Hanson Robotics said that it would begin mass-producing hundreds of robots with artificial intelligence, such as Sophia, to aid in the fight against COVID-19. That's all for today's video. See you next time!